It's the largest infrastructure project in the nation. And after four years of being stalled in Washington, the urgently needed Hudson River Tunnel, pro tunnel Project gets a green light and the pledge of an expedited timetable from the Transportation Secretary. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer has more. Senator Chuck Schumer took Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg on a tour of the dilapidated, storm-damaged tunnels under the Hudson River, where he took pictures and heard firsthand how bad things are. And you'll be able to see some of the spalling concrete. This is where the concrete is separating from the rebar. Here you can see the condition of the concrete, which is also has corrosion because of the water. And during the winter, we get that water freezes and makes icicles, which can short out the actual overhead water. The tour, which included New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, and members of the New York and New Jersey congressional delegations was part of Schumer's plan to make sure the transportation secretary understands how critical building new tunnels are to the national economy. 20% of the gross national product comes through the tunnels, and apparently it worked. It's one thing to hear about it, it's another to see it. Schumer and Buttigieg showed off a rotten cable that had to be replaced. The entire technology is severely outdated. It, pieces of it can literally blow. For all of these reasons, uh, we need to act. You know, you, you can feel when your infrastructure is the best in the world. And we can feel that in the U.S., that's no longer the case. And that's why we feel such a sense of urgency to do something about it. Estimated cost of building two new tunnels and renovating the existing 110 year old tunnels is about $12 billion. Senator Schumer telling me that after four years of being held up by the Trump administration, he's going to try to fast track the project. The building plan is now sometime in 2023. We're trying to get it moved up to 2022. I have a lot of hope that with all of this enthusiasm that we can do that. Estimates are that the entire project will take six or seven years to complete. Replacing the portal bridge will be done sooner. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.